We're going to go to our uh, lightning round. We're ask some brief questions of our guest today, Nick Stern, former chief economist of the World Bank and chair of the Grantham Institute at the London School of Economics, and Steve Wesley, former board member of Tesla and a venture capitalist in Silicon Valley. I'm Greg Dalton. You can join the conversation using our Twitter handle at Climate One. Uh, Steve Wesley, yes or no? Green products are still too expensive for mer many Americans. No. Ten years ago, maybe. Today, no. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, Nick Stern, in 2010, the G7 industrialized economies pledged to reduce fossil fuel subsidies. That's just a bunch of smoke, and subsidies have not been reduced since. I think you were part of that. They've uh, been reduced some. For example, um, I'm talking about the G20 now because the G7 is pretty marginal. Um, in the G20, India has used the world fall in price of uh, fossil fuels and oil and so on to reduce fossil fuel subsidies. Indonesia has a bit, but uh, they should go much faster. Steve Wesley, uh, new nuclear power plants have a place in a decarbonized economy. It's very difficult to get nuclear in the new world for three reasons. And again, this has nothing to do with Democrats. Number one, they're extraordinarily costly, $10 billion a throw, and they take at least a decade to get up. Number two, no one wants them in their backyard. And number three, we still haven't figured out what to do with the nuclear waste. That is not the long-term solution we need. The future of nuclear power is in China. Um, they're going to invest probably in 100, 150, roughly one gigawatt power plants <clears throat> over the next 15 years or so. That's where we're going to learn about the future of nuclear. Nicholas Stern, the U.S. Congress has slowed down global movement toward cleaner fuels, yes or no? Hmm. Um, <laughs> probably yes, but the... Okay. Uh, you can meddle in English, U.S. politics a little no. bit. But one of the wonderful things about the United States, which I say as an outsider, is it's got so many bits to it, like California, like uh, the wonderful firms like Tesla, Walmart, which looks very closely at its uh, supply chain, cities, you know, New York under Mike Bloomberg and Bill de Blasio. That, that United States is a complicated big place, and there's an awful lot happens outside Washington. You don't need an outsider to tell you that, but it's important. Steve Wesley, Californians concerned about climate change should eat less meat and animal protein. Yeah, this is hard for me because I like meat, but the short answer is moving into the future, we're all going to be eating less meat. We just need to. It's the right thing for the planet. Nick Stern, English pot pie is a bad for the climate. <laughs> English. I think you're not running for office. English pot pie. Beef stew, beef pie? What, oh, what okay. Is, no, that, it's pie. A, it, it sounds <laughs> shepherd's like... Shepherd's pie? Is that okay. Shepherd's pie. Okay. That shepherd's pie American is... American mistake. <laughs> can I just explain shepherd's pie? Because it's quite... <laughs> <laughs> you threw me with pot pie, which is an American description of an English dish which would be unknown to an Englishman. <laughs> <laughs> shepherd's pie is when you take um, your uh, roast from uh, Sunday, because... <laughs> You know, we, we weren't always, you know, as rich as we are now, which is not as rich as you are, but so you, you, <laughs> you would have a roast at the weekend and then you wouldn't eat it all and uh, you'd grind it up and you'd put it in a pie with potato on the top and that's shepherd's, shepherd's pie. Um, I, I very much agree with Steve. Um, we are going to have to eat less red meat, a move to chicken, a move to to fish, a move to vegetables, will be part of this story and will be much healthier and fitter as a result. And, um, you know, if you feed um, uh, animals with oats for a very long time, as opposed to eating the oats yourself or the soy or whatever it might be, that's a much uh, less efficient way of transforming input into output whichever way you, you look at it. Um, so there's going to have to be some kind of reduction. But the important thing is to describe to people what's in what they eat, including you know, the, the water and, and, what, and the, the greenhouse gases. And let them make up their own mind. Nicholas, I, I've seen the future. Kale pie. Yeah, Kale pie. 
Big. <laughs> America. Californian kale pie. <laughs> California the, kale uh, pie. Yeah. Uh, Steve Wesley, venture capitalists are not as smart as they think they are. Absolutely correct. Um, Nicholas Stern, economists are people who don't have the personality to be accountants. <laughs> <laughs> You've been meeting the wrong economists. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to a quick word association. Uh, I'm going to mention something, and you'll mention the first word that pops into your mind. One word. Uh, Steve Wesley, American coal. Over. Nick Stern, American politics. Complicated. Uh, Steve Wesley, Gavin Newsom. Uh, interesting. <laughs> Antonio Villaroso. Villarosa. Dynamic. Nick Stern, Volkswagen. Um, in need of. Ref oh, is that one word? Um, Cheating bastards can work, but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> time to be honest. Oh. Uh, Steve Wesley, Koch Brothers. Uh, wrong way. Nick Stern, American Manners. It, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Last one, Steve Wesley, English Manners. The best. Okay, how'd we do? I think, let's give them a round. I think they did pretty well. That's the end of our... <clears throat>